So today we're going to be talking about exactly how to automate Gmail uh, using Google Workspace and go high level. Now, a few of the tools that you're going to need, the three bare minimum tools you're going to need, you're going to need uh, Google Workspace or Gmail at least, but usually recommend Google Workspace. Uh, you're going to need Go High Level, and you're going to need My Mail Genius. Now, My Mail Genius is a brand new app that uh, Dash just put out on the Go High Level Marketplace. You can use it to as an extension for your Go High Level account to uh, directly connect Gmail and a bunch of other um, email providers, and we'll look at that at the end here. Now, before we get into this, I want to make sure you guys know there's actually two types of automation that we ourselves send. Uh, there's transactional sending, and then there's promotional sending. So transactional sending is things like appointment reminders, order confirmations, and billing updates. Uh, and promotional things are things like offer updates, new inventory updates, uh, and like holiday or birthday updates slash offers that you might be running. Um, and you might be asking like, why does that matter? Why is that important? Well, just a little note from Google uh, to follow best practices for sending with Gmail, which is who most, most people use for their email providers and most Email clients uh, pretty much look to them when it comes to how to score uh, spam. It says messages of the same category should have the same email address in the from header. For example, messages from a domain called Solorama might have a from header like receipt, deals, and alerts. So um, this is just how Google wants you to actually send your emails from your you know, work domain. Now, there are some pros and cons to this, of course. You don't have to follow this, but the pros are most of what you send as transactional email will actually be delivered with priority. So they'll actually make it straight to the inbox and it won't go to spam or promotions. So your customers will actually get the most important emails that you're looking for them to get. Um, and on top of that, Gmail and other mail clients will view you as a more valid sender. Uh, and so your chances of getting blacklisted are definitely lower, but remember they're never zero. Now, the cons to this, of course, are there's a much higher likelihood that what you send as promotional will get designated as promotional. And so it will not have as high of a likelihood um, to getting to the top of the inbox compared to transactional emails, and it may end up in the promotions tab. So it can hurt uh, your conversion rate, your click-through rate just a little bit um, because of that. Now, for transactional automation, using Go High Level, here's an example of how we actually use it ourselves. So when you sign up, for my mail genius we actually use go high level to send you uh, a welcome email just like this and we're using the email from the email builder um, that looks just like this so this is the exact email that you'll get and we're using custom uh, fields contact custom fields to update so you know what email you signed in with what the plan is and when your billing cycle ends and all that good stuff um, and so the really cool thing about this, this automation itself, if I actually pull it up, this, you can see this is actually triggered by a tag being added. So our system actually adds a tag to the contact whenever they get added, uh, and that triggers this email to be sent. But transactional automation within Go High Level can also be triggered by things like an order form being submitted. So if somebody, if you're selling something on a no code builder funnel page um, on Go High Level's uh, funnel builder, you can have an order form submission. Uh, do this you can have a membership sign up trigger the automation uh, or you can even have a survey filled out or just brand new they just in introduced invoice paid so if you send an invoice to your client and they pay it you can now trigger an automation off of that which is pretty fantastic um, and then on a promotional automation so this is more like bulk sending so this is to send to your whole list and try to kind of get uh you know a few new signups or some conversions and just kind of do some branding. Um, so this is what it would look like when I send like from promos at work with DAS, whenever we send like, you know, a new update or about any kind of specials that we got going on or anything like that, uh, we'll send it just like this. And one of the really cool things and why you need to use my mail genius for using this is whenever you use Gmail, it's a custom provider with go high level. And so you need to have your own uh, kind of analytic tracking system. And so that's what the MyMailGenius webhook does. So if you include a webhook with the MyMailGenius webhook URL for campaigns, uh, we'll keep track of all of the promotional email campaigns that you're sending. Uh, and in the uh, dashboard that you get, you'll actually be able to see some stats that look like this. So this is actually the most recent uh, promotional campaign that we ran launching the announcement of our launch from closed beta into open beta for my mail genius uh, and these are the actual numbers that we got it ran over about four days i think we drifted out really really slow to make sure we didn't hit any limits or get in trouble with gmail um, and we ended up getting according to our open tracking pixel about a 94 percent open rate now 
you might be asking, that's, you might be saying that's amazing. And don't get me wrong, using our app, you definitely will. This is not an unusual um, delivery type of conversion rate to see. However, you might be asking, well, is how accurate are your open rates really after iOS 15? That's a great question. And you should always be skeptical when you see analytics like this. And while we may not be 100% accurate, like and subscribe to get notified of the next video. So that way you can know that uh, what we're going to be going over, which is exactly that. How does iOS 15 impact your ability to read open rates on your email campaigns, as well as how click through tracking can actually give a more accurate uh, conversion rate because you are, it's better to have a little bit lower numbers, but more confirmed analytics than it is to have overinflated open rates and, you know, may feel good about yourself, but in all reality, you're not actually getting value from your email campaigns. Um, so we're also going to be talking about how to optimize for click through rates, just a couple little tricks that I've been seeing from other people, uh, in the, in the community. So, uh, make sure you get started sending for free. There's two links in the description. One is for go high level. You get a two week free trial of go high level, uh, and then a seven day free trial of my mail genius when you sign up. Uh, so make sure that you check out both of those in the links below and like, and subscribe for the next video. So that way you can see exactly how we use like mouse events, uh, to accurately track click through tracking after iOS 15. Thanks again for watching and, uh, see you next time.